the 6th of April, 1941. With hundreds of Luftwaffe fighters dropping bombs on Belgrade, Nazi Germany, under the codename Operation Retribution, starts the invasion of Yugoslavia. Hitler sees Yugoslavia as a potential threat to the southern flank of his planned attack on the Soviet Union, and wants to secure crucial supply routes for German forces in the Balkans and southeastern Europe. Nineteen German divisions supported by additional Italian, Hungarian, and Bulgarian troops conquer the country in 11 days. On the 10th of April 1941, before the surrender of the Yugoslav army, the Germans and the Italians endorse the proclamation of the so-called Independent State of Croatia by the fanatically nationalist, fascist, separatist, and terrorist Ustasha organization. After seizing power, the Ustasha authorities erect numerous concentration camps in Croatia, in which they will isolate and murder Jews, Serbs, Roma, and other non-Catholic minorities, as well as Croatian political and religious opponents of the regime. The largest of these camps, Jasenovac, will become the third largest concentration camp in Europe, notorious for its barbaric practices and the large number of victims. Among the camp's personnel is a former Franciscan friar and Catholic priest who for his sadism will become nicknamed Brother Satan. His name is Miroslav Filipovic. Miroslav Filipovic was born on the 5th of June 1915 in Jajce, today's Bosnia-Herzegovina, then part of Austria-Hungary. From 1929, Jajce was part of the Kingdom of Yugoslavia. In 1938, Filipovic joined the Franciscan Order at Petrishevat's monastery, Banja Luka, and took Tomislav as his religious name. In the following year, he was ordained a priest. The Second World War began on the 1st of September 1939 when Nazi Germany invaded Poland. When Germany's ally Italy failed to conquer Greece in the late autumn and winter of 1940-1941, Germany became more concerned about securing its southeastern flank in the Balkans. Greece's success in repulsing Italian forces allowed its ally, Great Britain, to establish a foothold on the European continent. To subdue Greece and move the British off the European mainland, Nazi Germany sought to bring Yugoslavia and Bulgaria into Axis Alliance, which was a military coalition led by Germany, Italy and Japan. On the 25th of March 1941, Yugoslavia joined the Axis and agreed to permit transit through its territory to German troops headed for Greece. The announcement of the agreement was extremely unpopular in many parts of the country, particularly in Serbia and Montenegro, and the Yugoslav government announced that it would not honor its obligations under the agreement. Hitler was furious, and although the Prime Minister, Colonel Dusan Simovic, sought within days to retract this statement, Hitler ordered the invasion of Yugoslavia on the evening of the 27th of March. The invasion involving German, Italian, Hungarian, and Bulgarian military units commenced on the 6th of April 1941. On the 17th of April the same year, the Yugoslav army surrendered, and the country was then occupied and partitioned by the Axis powers. In the so-called independent state of Croatia, the Ustasha leadership instituted a reign of chaotic terror so extensive that German and Italian troops essentially had to administer the countryside. The Ustasha was a Croatian fascist, ultra-nationalist, and terrorist organization, and its members fiercely hated Serbs, Jews, communists, and non-Catholics. The Ustasha regime murdered or expelled hundreds of thousands of Serbs residing in its territory. In rural areas, Croatian military units and Ustasha militia burned down entire Serbian villages and murdered the inhabitants, frequently torturing men and raping women. In all, Croat authorities killed between 320 and 340,000 ethnic Serbs in Croatia and Bosnia-Herzegovina between 1941 and 1942. In January 1942, after completing his theological exams in Sarajevo, Miroslav Filipovic became a military chaplain with the Ustasha. Filipovic was assigned to the 2nd Poglavnik Bodyguard Battalion, and on the 7th of February 1942, he accompanied elements of his battalion in an operation aimed at wiping out Serbs in the villages of Draculic, Motike, and Shargovac. 
A few Serbs survived, but overwhelmingly, the operation achieved its objective. More than 2,300 Serb civilians, including men, women, and children, were killed, usually with axes or pickaxes. At Shargovac, Filipovic instigated the killing of 52 children at the village primary school by slitting the throat of a schoolgirl. Possibly at the request of the Italian Royal Army, which was then occupying part of the independent state of Croatia territory, Filipovic was court-martialed by the Wehrmacht, the German armed forces, for his involvement in the operation. Filipovic was jailed, and the papal legate, Ramiro Marcone, suspended him. He was also expelled from the Order of Friars Minor on the 22nd of October 1942, the date on which he was transferred to Stara Gradishka, which was one of five detention facilities of the Yasenovac camp complex established between August 1941 and February 1942 by the authorities of the so-called Independent State of Croatia. The camps were guarded by Croatian political police and personnel of the Ustasha militia, which was the paramilitary organization of the Ustasha movement. Conditions in the Yasenovac camps, often referred to as the Auschwitz of the Balkans, were horrendous. Prisoners received minimal food, and shelter and sanitary facilities were totally inadequate. Worse still, the guards cruelly tortured, terrorized, and murdered prisoners at will. In early 1942, Filipovic killed an inmate at Stara Gradishka for hiding a loaf of bread. Shortly thereafter, he became chief guard, responsible for mass executions. He got a new surname, Majstorovic, derived from a local word meaning master or craftsman. With his fellow camp executioners, Marinko Polic and Jerko Maricic, Filipovic competed over which of them was a better butcher. Witness Josep Riboli stated, Victims had to kneel in front of them until they were touching their foreheads to the ground, and the executioners would fire their revolvers at the backs of their heads. If death wasn't instant, one of them would grab a knife and slit the victim's throat. Another particularly vicious killing was described by the former Jewish prisoner Egon Berger in his book 44 Months in Yasenovats. Berger recalled, The priestly face of Miroslav Filipovich, all made up and powdered, dressed in an elegant suit and green hunter's hat, watched with delight the victims. He approached the children, even stroked their heads. The company was joined by Lyubo Milos and Ivica Matkovic. Filipovic told the mothers there will now be a baptism for their children. They took the children from the mothers. The child whom Filipovic was carrying, in his child's innocence, caressed the painted face of his killer. The mothers, distraught, perceived the situation. They offered their lives for mercy for the children. Two children were placed on the ground, while the third was thrown like a ball into the air, and Filipovic, holding a dagger upwards, missed three times, while the fourth time with a joke and a laugh, a child was impaled on the dagger. Mothers began throwing themselves on the ground, pulling their hair, and began to shout terribly. Ustasha guards took them away and killed them. When all three children were so brutally killed, these two-legged beasts exchanged money because they seemed to have had a bet on who would be the first to stick a dagger in a child. In May 1942, Filipovic rose to commander of Ziglana, one of Yasenovac's subcamps, and in October, Stara Gradishka. Having been a Franciscan, the inmates called him Brother Satan. Filipovic was often seen shooting prisoners during so-called public executions and forcing prisoners to kill other prisoners with sledgehammers. A Croatian medical doctor and academic, Dr. Nikola Nikolic, who had been imprisoned at Ziglana, recalled standing in the second row of a group of prisoners, who had been lined up to watch as another group of prisoners were herded in front of Filipovic, who summoned Nikolic to the front so that, as a doctor, he could witness a surgery being performed without anesthetic. Filipovic then shot dead two prisoners and told a colleague to finish off the rest. According to the accounts of some survivors, Filipovic, though expelled from the Franciscan order, continued to act as a chaplain while commanding the camp and sometimes wore his Franciscan robes while carrying out his crimes. As a result, he came to be known as Friar Satan. One witness named Simo Kleitsch recalled that in Christmas 1942, Filipovic ordered mass and later a muster, where he killed four inmates with a knife while forcing a Jew of Sarajevo, Alkalai, to sing. 
Filipovic then ordered Alkali to approach him, stabbing Alkali in the chest and slashing his throat. Then he killed 56 Bosnian Jews by tying them with wire and hitting them with an axe, so they all fell into a well. Then he shot around 40 Bosniak villages in the head. After he killed them, Filipovic sat on a chair and said, Justice has been done. During 1943 and 1944, Filipovic acted as an intelligence officer in Herzegovina and central Bosnia, and as an assistant commander of the 4th Ustasha Association in Lika. In September 1944, Filipovic was appointed to sit on an ad hoc court martial convened to try prisoners, accused of forging links with the partisans and plotting an escape. In early May 1945, Filipovic fled to Austria, where he was captured by the British and extradited to Yugoslavia. Between its establishment in 1941 and its evacuation in April 1945, Croat authorities murdered between 77 and 100,000 people at Jasenovac. Many of them were shot at the nearby killing sites of Granik and Gradina. Justice finally caught up with Filipovic when in 1946 he stood trial in Belgrade for war crimes. He gave evidence consistent with his statement to the Croatian War Crimes Commission, admitting his participation in some crimes and denying involvement in some others. Jasenovac survivor Josep Riboli testified, Filipovic seemed kind and gentle, except when the slaughtering was going on. Then he was incomparable. He was the leader of all the mass killings at Gradina. He went off to conduct the slaughtering every night and came back covered with blood. For the crimes he committed during the war, Miroslav Filipovic was found guilty and sentenced to death. When Filipovic was hanged on the 29th of June, 1946, he was 31 years old. Despite his expulsion in 1942, Filipovic was executed while wearing the habit of the Franciscan Order. There were no tears shed for Miroslav Filipovic. Thanks for watching the World History Channel. Be sure to like and subscribe, and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss our next episodes. We thank you, and we'll see you next time on the channel.